Major Gaylord. I'm Jones, sir. A Company. So? You sent a platoon of my company out yesterday afternoon on patrol. We're trying to make contact now. So you haven't heard from them then? Not yet. May I ask the purpose of the patrol? You're out of line, Lieutenant. It ought to be quite obvious why we sent out a patrol in a situation like ours. To ascertain strength and location of the enemy. You mean you don't know, sir? Are you concerned about them? Are you, Jones? There are 20 of my men. I didn't know that. I didn't see your brand on them. Had I seen it, I would have sent out three ROKs and a platoon of army nurses. Major Gaylord, those men don't stand a chance across the river. And I want to know whose decision it was to send them across. My decision. Are you satisfied? Then how about another patrol to hunt for them? Negative. Just a couple of men. And myself then? Negative. We can't spare a couple of men right now. But you could spare 20 yesterday afternoon? That was yesterday afternoon. Begging your pardon, sir. Don't beg my pardon, Jones. Speak your piece and get back to your company. My company is five effectives, 40 litter cases, and the rest of them are face down for three miles up the road. What do you want, Jones? Taps and an invocation? At 0600, we're moving back, straight back, across three miles of open country. If artillery's been brought across that river, we couldn't be a better target if we were painted red, white, and blue with a bullseye in the middle of our foreheads. That's why I sent a patrol across. To find out. A lot of good it did, didn't it? Jonesy, this whole stinking war doesn't seem to be doing much good. But if it makes you feel any better, I'm sweating those boys of yours out just like each one's kid brother. But not enough to send somebody out there to save their necks. That'll do it. And when we move out, are we just leaving them out there? I said that'll do it. Yes, sir. <laughs>